Welcome to study session 5, Introduction to Food Science and Technology. We will be discussing contamination and deterioration of food. All foods, including aquatic and agricultural products, undergo varying degrees of deterioration after harvest and during storage, leading to losses in nutritional value, safety, aesthetic appeal, which involves color, texture, and flavor. When you have studied this session, you should be able to define deterioration, identify the major sources of food deterioration, discuss the effect of deterioration of food quality. Deterioration or undesirable changes may be as a result of biological, biochemical, or physiological, physical changes in food products. Factors identified as causes of deterioration usually encourage the conditions that lead to quality losses. These factors are usually results of inadequate training of product handlers inadequate or non-existence of storage structures, unsuitable or inadequate technologies for handling and storing products, ineffective food quality control, and adverse slash extreme environmental conditions. In addition, time is also an important factor for spoilage of produce. All foods undergo varying degrees of deterioration after harvest, and this leads to loss of nutritional value. Production losses in developed countries are hard to judge, but in undeveloped countries, it is on a very high rate. This includes losses of sweet potatoes, plantains, tomatoes, bananas, citrus, fruits that are high in percentage of moisture content. Causes of food deterioration. Causes of food deterioration. Food are frequently classified on basis of their stability as non-perishable, semi-perishable, and perishable. They are also classified based on food types as and quality. This can either be chemical, physical, or microbial. What are chemical factors? Interaction may result from chemical reactions, such as endogenous enzymes, or through interactions involving one or more macronutrients in food and food products. Enzymes are proteins that occur naturally in plant tissues and catalyze a number of important biochemical reactions which are very vital in changes of color, in changes of food concentration and food nutrition. Some enzyme catalyzed reactions are beneficial as well, others are deteriorative. Physical factors, on the other hand, causes change in food texture, it causes change in food composition, in food physical attributes, and these are very obvious. Biological factors are occurs due to the presence of pests or other damaging insects or their droppings, and this cause for alarm. They can result in products in product that is slightly unslightly that is unslightly significant in food safety hazard. Effect of some deterioration on food quality. This effect could be chemical, it could be physical, it could be biological changes which occur during handling, processing and storage of food which lead to deterioration in sensory and nutritional quality of the food. For sensory quality, the major factors that cause deterioration of sensory quality are discussed below. We have lipid oxidation, we have enzymatic browning, we have nutrient quality depreciation. For, for, liquid, for liquid oxidation, lipid oxidation rate and cost of reaction is influenced by light, by local oxygen concentration, by high temperature, by the presence of catalysts. These factors can be controlled by reduced, by reduced light content and other oxidation catalysts that are found in or around the food. non enzymatic browning occurs as a result of the change in concentration of the food. Non enzymatic browning or Miller reaction can be divided into three stages. We have the early Miller reaction, advanced Miller reaction, and the final Miller reaction. The nutrient quality depreciation have four major factors, and they also include the same thing that are in enzymatic browning, which is light, oxygen, temperature, and water activity. I believe you have learned one or two things about food deterioration. Thanks for listening. See you in the next slide.